New details now at 6 on an I-Team exclusive. A Rhode Island judge under investigation for at least three formal complaints. The most unusual that he often takes his pants off while he's in chambers. It's certainly a strange one, but there are also accusations of heavy-handed treatment in court. The NBC10 I-Team first broke the story last night, and tonight we take a closer look at how the state investigates judges. It's been 10 years since a judge was sanctioned. I-Team reporter Parker Gavigan follows up. The NBC10 I-Team has learned Rhode Island District Court Judge Rafael Ovelas is under investigation following at least three complaints filed with the state's Commission on Judicial Tenure and Discipline. The commission is charged with investigating allegations of misconduct or unfitness for, for serving as a judge. Sources close to the investigation tell me Ovelas is being reviewed for alleged mistreatment of attorneys and court employees. But according to a complaint filed by a female clerk, the judge often removes his pants while he's in chambers, his private office, when he is not dressed in a black robe. Sources say court employees have seen it, find it strange, and are uncomfortable when asked to come into the judge's chambers on official business. The court says Ovelis was not available for a comment and unreachable this week. We asked the court for some data, like how many complaints they receive against judges, and how many judges have been recently disciplined. Well, the short answer, not many. Over the last five years, 95 complaints have been filed against judges and 91 have been dismissed. The last judge to be sanctioned was Marjorie Yasher 10 years ago. Yasher was a traffic court judge when she was censured by the Supreme Court for leaving work early, not following the instructions of the chief judge, and yelling at police officers after she was arrested for a car accident. Yasher retired from the bench after 20 years. Judge Ovalis now faces questions from the court commission. 16 members presently made up of judges and attorneys. Most of their work is done in secret, but if the commission decides to, a public hearing could take place. For the I-Team, Parker Gavigan, NBC10 News.